Good morning, everyone. We are out for a little walk to start today's vlog. Um, I am headed to a store called Modern House, which is one of my absolute favorite stores, because today I'm going to do a little room makeover, like not an intense one or anything, just like a little brush up because I've been here for a year now and my room is still pretty empty. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love minimalism, but I just wanted to touch it up with a few new things. So let's go. because I thought it would be fun. This shit's huge. I thought there'd be a mirror in here too, but sadly, it's just a giant storage elevator. <laughs> Why did I take this down? I don't know. <laughs> got was this lovely little cactus of course he has a name it's Julian I just thought he was cute he's in like a little test tube which is quite adorable I mean it's not a test tube wow been a long time since I've been in a science class it's a beaker he's in a beaker um, but I thought he looked kind of like a little rabbit with like two ears so I thought he was cute I gave him a name the only problem is I have no idea if he's real or not yeah I'm just not like a plant goddess yet maybe maybe in my future but i have no idea if he's real or not so if you can tell just by looking at this please let me know if he's real or not so that's one thing i got that's going to go up on those shelves that are basically just above my bed another thing that i got was whatever's in here another fake little succulent i guess this is in a terrarium but yeah this one's like definitely 100 percent fake so I feel very confident that I can keep it looking like this. So there we go. We've got two plants, one definitely fake, one questionably fake. Let's see what else she got. Oh yeah, this is a good one. I also got this hand model that I think is used for like gesture drawings. And the sole reason why I picked it up was obviously so that I could pose it like this. So there's that. Another thing that I got was just, I guess, some sculpture, you could say. Um, it's just a woman's face. Not gonna lie, it was also on sale. It was like $9. Moving on, we've got uh, uh, this bubble candle. So I've been seeing these um, on Instagram and Pinterest as well a lot. So I thought it was really cute. I'll probably never burn it so it keeps its shape. But as you can see on the little box there, it's just a little candle that kind of looks like a circular Rubik's cube, I guess is how I would explain it. So there we go. We've got a little bubble candle that will be going on to the shelving as well. And the last thing is technically two things, but I'm going to put them together in a way that I hope looks cool, but may look like utter shit. So um, I got these <clears throat> dual purpose bath salts, um, not those kind of bath salts, but I guess it's Himalayan salt. Um, so other than not using these in a bath because I don't have one, um, what I am gonna do with them is I'm going to put them into Another thing I bought, it's a glass watering can. Yeah, 
Um, maybe I can put a plant in here as well. That could look pretty cool. But for now, what's gonna be going in here is gonna be these bath salts. And hopefully that looks cool. It might look like total shit, but you know what? Creativity is experimentation, people. So, <laughs> woo! And that's everything I bought, but that's not everything that's going on the shelves. I do have a couple of things here that I want to move on to the shelves. So let me go grab those things. So one of them, one of them is this. I got this disposable camera that I'm gonna go put up there because it also ties in, it's like blue. I don't know if you can tell it's blue and white, but it also ties in nicely with what I got for Christmas from my brother, which is also from Vinyl and Plastic in Itaewon. Um, it's the Lady Gaga Joanne record. That's all I have planned to put up there um, for now. Like I said, I might find a couple other trinkets and like experiments with things that go up there. Also, when I see like how much it actually like weight it can hold, because I have no idea what these walls are actually made of. Um, but once I figure out how much weight it can actually hold, I might put some books up there or other things to sort of spice it up. Um, so where are these shelves, you ask? Great question. They're under my couch, so I'll go get them. Yeah, they're basically just pieces of wood that I got off coupon. I think they're like 25 bucks for a set of three of them. And they come with like all of the screws and um, brackets and other things you need to install them. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, install these shelves and we'll see how it goes. They smell so nice. They smell like wood. Am I a freak? Does no one else like wood smell? Mm. The first thing I'm going to do is mark them out, and um, I am, don't actually have a level. So I'm going to use my tripod, I guess, as a sort of level because it has a level there. So let's see if this works. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I think it looks nice, so I'm gonna get the drill now. <clears throat> yeah. styling my shelves just because this one particularly is like bent like halfway over um like considerably far down I don't know if you can see there it is like leaning over like this boop, and this is how it should look bop so um but obviously I want to put more than just those two things on it so I'm gonna have to order more brackets but I think that will solve my problem perfectly. Once I have a bracket that's also using upward force on it, I think it will stand perfectly. And then I'll have three beautiful shelves. <laughs> Once I 
put a second support on the shelf and they are able to hold more. I'm definitely going to style it like a little bit differently, but for now, I think it looks nice. I think it's a, uh, makes it feel more lived in. Feels like less of like a dorm room, I guess. Also, if you're wondering what happened to my bath salts and my glass watering can, here it is. <laughs> Um, this is definitely too heavy. If the terrarium is too heavy, then this glass um, watering can with all these Epsom bath salts in it is too heavy too. But just because it's too heavy doesn't mean <laughs> I don't want to find a place for it because I actually think it looks really cute. So I'm going to dump this in. Here, have some ASMR. So now that I have tempted to like boister my confidence with building these shelves. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to build my closet now. Um, my fear is that like, if that's sort of like teetering over, then for sure my closet isn't going to be like super duper strong. Um, the only bonus is that I believe my closet rails have three screws in each of them on each side, whereas this one only had like one screw in point. So there's what, two screws holding this in. There will be six on each of my rails. Um, but I think we'll find out like really quickly if this is gonna work or not. So let's get to it. <laughs> what a wonderful way to be spending my Saturday. <laughs> but the first thing I have to do is I'm on Coupang now. Um, and I'm looking at some options for dressers. So I'm just gonna pick one and order it now and then I will map the closet around where that chest of drawers will actually end up going. So, but I have lost my measuring tape, so we're not off to a great start. Um, I just sort of lined out where the dresser would go and then mapped it out from there but honestly if it's off by a couple of centimeters like no one's gonna know except me i'm gonna be pissed about it but no one's gonna know except me so time to screw this wall i hope no one's home next door because i don't want to get yelled at in korean i don't know what i would do <laughs> take me a lot longer. B is going to be a pain in my butt because the same thing, the same thing happened when I screwed in my curtains. Basically part of this wall is made of metal. So I have to strip away the metal with smaller drill bits until I get the hole big enough to put a bigger drill bit in. So this is actually going to take a long time. And now I sincerely hope my neighbor isn't home because that was quick. This is going to take a while. <laughs> I finished one. <laughs> I've got one in there. It takes such a long time to drill the like hole I need for the screw, um, but it's there and it feels super, super sturdy. So I'm going to hang some clothes on it and see how it looks. So the last couple of holes ended up taking me like no time at all. So I am about to put in the final rail. I'm also gonna be getting rid of that couch. It's gonna go down to the dumpster and then I'll be done. I'm gonna get rid of the couch tomorrow though because I've worked very hard today. <laughs> but now I feel like it's much more intentional, which I'm very happy about before with that sort of common rail that everybody who lives in this style apartment seems to have in Korea. It felt like it was saying, I have no closet, look at my clothes. Whereas now it feels like I'm saying, I have a beautiful wardrobe, I want you to appreciate it. It just feels more intentional because everything is grouped by style and it's spaced out, so I'm just, 
I'm very pleased with the way this is looks. I also think it will look even better when I finally get my chest of drawers. I said finally, I literally only ordered it today, um, but it will be coming soon. It's about the same size as this couch, so if you can imagine that this couch was a chest of drawers, that's what my final wardrobe slash closet is going to look like. So. That's it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, um, especially if you want to see the final room tour once everything is in its place. But yeah, until then, have fun. I'll see you later. Bye.